Hey, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rukha HaKodash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the house of David, which is the elect. So I just want to touch on this article here coming from Russia Today. It says NATO member declares intent to join BRICS. Okay, and um, actually, before I get into that, I want to uh, get this um, tweet real quick. It's the same on the same topic. It says one of the topics of the agenda is expected to be the possibility of Turkey, a NATO ally, joining the BRICS grouping. So, um, you know, this is what this uh, same article was going into. So it says Turkish Foreign Minister Hakan Faydan has stated that and Ankara, uh, uh, Ankara intends to discuss the issue during an upcoming meeting in Russia. Okay, and um, <coughs> excuse me, you know, this is uh, something that has been uh, ongoing, you know, the the um, coziness of Turkey with uh, Russia and its, um, you know, uh, allies in the BRICS, which is something that we, uh, you know, pay attention to because it is pursuant to uh, biblical prophecy. All right. And as uh, the scriptures uh, speaks about, uh, let me just get something real quick that the council of Yahweh will stand. All right. I believe that's in the book of Proverbs, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Proverbs. Actually, I'm going to be to here because there's, there's another one. Uh, Proverbs 19, verse 21, it says, there are many devices in a man's heart. All right. So there are many plans in a man's mind. All right. And, you know, you can look at that from a micro level, you know, individualistically and also on a uh, global, right, macro geopolitical level. All right. You know, men have uh, many thoughts in their heads, which the scriptures tells us that no thought you know, that we have it uh, uh, escapes the Lord. However, it says, nevertheless, which means, however, the counsel of the Lord that shall stand. OK, so the counsel of Yahweh Bashim Shai is what is going to stand, meaning it is that is what's going to be uh, realized. All right. That is what is going to manifest. So that is why, you know, when we look at the world and we look at what is happening in the world, um, we filter it through the scriptures, which is the word of Yahweh. All right. Let me get another scripture, because no matter what, it is going to be the will of Yahweh Bash and Shai that is going to be done. OK, and then that's where we can uh, hang our hat on. That's when we we can rest assured. OK, uh, Isaiah 55 verse uh, 11, it says, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. Okay? And no one can stop the will of Yahweh Bashim Shai. No one can stop his counsel. No one can, um, you know, uh, uh, disan <coughs> disannul it. Excuse me. Okay, so let's go back here real quick. I just want to see uh, what cross-references come up with that. Um, another one in Isaiah, the 46th chapter is a good one, but just wanted to check it real quick. Um, yeah, this is a good one. We, we know Proverbs 21 verse one, it says the king's heart is in the, and when we read the word heart in the, um, Hebrew, it is, uh, most of the time comes up as the Hebrew word lob, which means the mind. All right. So it says the king's heart or his mind is in the hand of the Lord as the rivers of water. He turneth it whithersoever he will. OK. Um, and one last one. And then we get back to the article. It says Isaiah 14, verse 24. The Lord of hosts have sworn, saying, surely as I have thought, so shall it come to pass. And as I have purposed, so shall it stand. So once again, although we know currently that NATO, um, or should I say Turkey, is a member ally of the NATO organization, why 
things like this, articles like this is so important because according to prophecy, right, which prophecy is the word of the Lord. He declared the end from the beginning. Turkey, um, as the scriptures calls it in the book of Ezekiel, the um, house of uh, Togomar, if I'm not mistaken, let's get it. Ezekiel 38. Right. Ezekiel 38, uh, verse three. Then I'm going to jump. It says, and thus saith the Lord God, behold, I am against thee, O Gog, the meet, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal. <coughs> and that's the thing that uh, the Heavenly Father is also against Russia. Now, you know, when we speak about uh, Russia and it's, um, you know, uh, uh, its position in biblical prophecy, we speak from the point that Russia is going to be the the spearhead to destroy uh to attack america and to destroy america which is biblically babylon the great but at the end of the day america uh, the lord is also against russia because the the russians aren't going to be the next great you know uh empirical superpower okay they're they own their only purpose is to uh be raised up so that they can come up against um, the beast, right? With Babylon the Great being ahead of that and uh, destroy it. So it says, and I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws and I will bring thee forth and all of thine army, horses and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, meaning, you know, the their military might, all right, their tanks, their various different um, missile, you know, uh, systems, all right, their fighter jets, their navies, their submarines, which uh, Russia has a very advanced, sophisticated um, military technology. OK, especially their hypersonic uh, ICBM missiles, which are able to evade uh, missile defense systems. It says all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with buckler and shields and all of them handling swords. Persia, which is the Iranians, Ethiopia which Ethiopia, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, is a, a member of the BRICS. And Libya, with them, all of them with shields and helmet. And if Ethiopia isn't a current member, it is one of the countries that is looking to um, join it. It says, Gomor and all of his bands, right, his armies, in the house of Togomar of the North Quarters, in all of his bands and many people with thee. Okay, so go more in the house of Togomar when you go to a, um, let's just pull it up. When you go to a ancient map, let's just type in, and we've done this before, but you know, for newcomers, Toga, oops, let's see. Togomar map. I see where it come, but comes up. All right. So as you see here, where you see uh, Gomor Togomar, you see in the upper left hand corner, that would be modern day Turkey. Okay. So the area where it rep it says Gomor and Togomar, you see there it says Turkey. So Turkey will be. A country that will join with Russia and its allies. All right, and one of those allies is the Persians, aka the Iranians. So now let's go back. It says Turkey will seek to join the BRICS group of nations and intends to bring up the issue at an upcoming meeting of the economic bloc's foreign ministers in Russia. Anarka's chief diplomat, Hakan Fidan announced on Tuesday, which is to today. Speaking to reporters while on a three-day visit to China, Fiden, or Fiden stated that Turkey has long been waiting to become a member of the European Union, but has for years faced oppositions, opposition from some of that bloc's members. In, that, in this context, 
Anaka, or so like it, Ankara, Ankara, is now considering BRICS as an alternative platform for integration, the minister explained. We cannot ignore the facts that BRICS, as an important cooperation platform, offered some other countries a good alternative, Fiden said, noting that while the group still has a long way to go, Ankara sees the potential in BRICS. During an event at the, China, at the center of China and globalization in Beijing, Biden said he was looking forward to attending the meeting of group's foreign ministers, which will include representatives from Brazil, Russia, India, China, South America, Iran, which is the Persians, Egypt, Ethiopia, and uh, Saudi Arabia, and the UAE. So, yeah, so Ethiopia is a current member of the BRICS. The event is set to take place next week in Rush in the Russian city of Nazim Novgorod. Okay, so right here is once again what we are seeing being played out is prophecy, right? Now, there has to be, which is you know what we always say, which is why you have to consistently watch, there has to be a buildup to the event of prophecy, right? Prophecy isn't a one day, one shot thing. Okay. The prophecy of Armageddon. All right. The prophecy of Babylon, the great being destroyed. The prophecy of World War Three is a succession of events that leads up to the completion of, a pro of this prophecy. So when we see Turkey, you know, becoming, uh, uh, trying to become an active member with BRICS, which a lot of these BRICS nations, mainly um, Russia and China and Iran, they are uh, enemies to the Western uh, hegemony, all right, which is spearheaded by the uh, Babylon the Great America, the whore that sitteth upon a beast. So here you have a NATO member that is trying to join an uh, organization that is uh, uh, its members, you know, its its uh, chief members are active ally. I mean, active enemies against the same organization that Turkey is a part of. And not only are they enemies, but they are actually at war <laughs> with, you know, uh, um, these uh, countries through their proxy wars, right? Russia is at war against NATO through a proxy war in uh, by way of Ukraine. Iran, aka Persia, is at war with America through a proxy war by way of what is happening with the 48ers and um, you know these uh, what they call uh, militant-backed Iranian-backed uh, militants. So. This would be like you or me or, you know, or you, let's say you on, on the playground and your boy is got got beef with somebody else. Let's say you're at school, whatever. You, he has beef with somebody else and that you're in, and you are in, in his clique. Right. And we used to call that back in the day. our clique, Right. And you got beef with somebody in another clique and your boy becomes cool. Or tries to join that clique who's who who you got beef with. But he's still in your clique. What is that showing you? That's showing you that hey, he may be, you know, uh, turning sides. And this is once again all according to prophecy, because this is the Lord putting it in the minds of uh, these kings, right? This na these nations to do so, because it goes toward what the will of the council of Yahweh Basham Shai is. Okay? And it's playing out right in front of us. You know, this is how we know that the words of Yahweh Basham Shai are faithful and true, as it says in 2nd Ezra, the 15th chapter. So it says, Moscow has welcomed Ankara's interest in joining BRICS. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov has stated that the topic of Turkey's membership in the group will be featured on the agenda of next week's summit, which is this year, which this year is being chaired by Russia. Peskov noted, however, that the economic bloc 
may not be able to fully satisfy the interest of all the numerous countries that have expressed a desire to join BRICS. Nevertheless, he stated that such an active interest is welcomed and that the group will do everything within its power to maintain contact with all interest, uh, interested, uh, interested nations. Last week, Russian Foreign Minister Ser Sergei Lavrov also noted that the doors of BRICS are open to the representatives of the most diverse economic and political systems in macro regions. The only condition to join the group is a commitment to work on the basis of the key principles of sovereign equality of states, something Russians, Russia's Western colleagues appear to be struggling with, Lavrov com uh, commented. Okay, so once again, this is a NATO uh, member, and not only is just some you know NATO member, but Turkey has the largest. Let's pull that up. I think um, the largest. What is the largest standing army in Europe? Let's see. Well, it's not a part of the EU. Largest standing armies in NATO. Let's see what comes up. Let's see if it's still. Turkey, because I remember seeing that years ago. So you got Romania. Are they going to do it this way? Poland, Spain, Greece, United Kingdom, Italy, Germany, France, Turkey. There you go. So the largest. Uh, second largest standing total active armed forces in NATO is Turkey. Now, of course, America is number one, but Turkey is number two. OK. Nations that are part of the military alliance between have millions of armed forces between them. So this and this just came out March 7, 2024. So Turkey is the largest NATO member has the largest active armed forces in NATO outside of America. All right. That is not something that you can just, uh, you know, take lightly. But all in all, this is all beca happening because of what the prophecy says. And as we know that the uh, counsel and the will of Yahweh Bashim al Shai is that is what's going to stand. OK, so this is Book of Revelation. Um, just go straight to this point here. Chapter 17, verse 16. It says, And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore. And the ten horns represent the um, uh, original ten uh, countries, okay, uh, within uh, uh, the EU, right? And then, you know, it became ultimately, I believe, at, at currently it's at 23, if I'm not mistaken, um, countries. But, you know, NATO, although, I mean, Turkey, although it's not a member of the EU, it's still a member of NATO and it's in Europe. So it says these shall hate the whore. And it's not going to only just be NATO. There's going to be other countries that are in Europe that are going to hate the whore. It says and shall make her desolate and naked and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. All right. And how is this going to happen? Is going to happen by way of war, nuclear war. All right. Verse 17, for God, the most high Yahweh, hath put it in their hearts. We just read about how the heart of the kings is in the hand of the Lord. OK, so if he put something in your heart, although a man heart has many, uh, many devices, it is the counsel of the Lord that shall stand. That is that whatever the Lord puts in the, in the person's mind to do, that is what's going to happen. There no human is strong enough to resist his will. Oh, actually, let me get that. Okay, let me just finish this first. It says, the Most High has put it in his hearts, in their hearts to fulfill his will. 
Okay, for God has put a plan in their minds, a plan that will carry out his purposes. All right, a plan that will carry out his purposes. All right, so let me get this uh, here in the book of Romans and then we'll close this out. Romans chapter 9, verse um, 9. Verse 18 it says, Therefore he hath mercy on whom he will have mercy on, who have mercy in whom he will he hardeneth. That will say then unto me, Why doeth he yet find fault? For who hath resisted his will? Okay, who has resisted Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai's will? The answer is nobody. All right, and that goes from Yahweh, I mean, that goes from Yahweh Shai <laughs> all the way down. Okay, even Satan on the left hand side and demons, they don't even resist Yahweh's will. That is why he is the most high God. And so if the angels don't even resist the heavenly father's will, how much more for man? Okay, who are made lower than angels. Okay, so Lord willing, I just want to bring this out. This was edifying unto the elect. In closing, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Hey, stay watching because the Lord is working, man. All right. So with that, Shalom.